folks that have undergone head and neck cancer treatment using chemotherapy and radiation. Unfortunately, in about a quarter of those patients, they develop a stricture or narrowing of their esophagus and they can't swallow and they're dependent on feeding through a gastric feeding tube. Back around 2003, all we really had to offer these patients was a large operation, a laryngectomy, partial esophagectomy, free flap reconstruction. In a group of patients who elected a treatment that would preserve their throat structures, this was understandably not acceptable. And uh, so I began experimenting with an endoscopic technique where we go up through the gastric feeding tube up into the esophagus and then through the mouth and where the two meet, we are able to uh, recreate a new swallowing tube endoscopically. I have called it TRID, uh, which is transgastric retrograde esophagoscopy with anterograde dilatation, which essentially means we come from above and below and uh, connect uh, the normal structures uh, through the strictured element. We can place a stent and then about 90% of those patients are able to swallow again. This is something that's unique to Wake Forest. Uh, there are very few centers around the country that even attempt it. We have the largest experience in the United States and the world. What we discovered was that patients who've had stricture treatment and dilatation really don't tolerate having a stent in their throat. And that led me toward trying to develop a stent that might dissolve in the throat, while at the same time uh, trying to reduce the amount of scarring that forms uh, when you open a stricture and stretch it. And so we began to develop uh, a dissolvable drug-eluting stent where the drug inhibits the amount of scar tissue that forms. Uh, we recently uh, placed these in a, a small animal model and actually prevented esophageal stricture. We are fortunately in a position at Wake Forest to have a superb technology development, a superb human and animal research boards that allow us to take ideas and apply them safely and effectively uh, to patients that have uh, difficult clinical problems.